Hey guys, D Mike here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. We were sailing a sea with Tetra and her pirate crew, and we found out that our sister Errol may be here on the Forsaken Fortress, taken here by that big old government drone. So now we're gonna go explore and see if we can get her back. If you like exploring, if you like trying to get interrupted for intros, Consider liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. How are we talking to you? Is this the 5G everyone's been talking about? Oh, just classic pocket stone. Seems like Tetra has thought of everything. Don't mind if I don't. <laughs> okay, thanks Tetra, great. Go kick rocks, okay? Brass tacks. Look at that real quick, viewers. How many times have you seen or heard someone say brass tacks? That is what that means, not T-A-X. It's referring to the actual little device. So this is a bit of a sneaking mission. I'm gonna go full solid snake here. And there's these searchlights here. They're gonna cause us some problems, okay? So to get around that, hop in your cardboard box or barrel, whatever you've got handy, and make your way around the area. The searchlights will prevent you from being seen. And while we're at it, moseying around here, gonna bring it around the outside and steal some riches from the Forsaken Fortress. Why not? There's two red rupees here. <laughs> You're never gonna catch me. Yeah, you should definitely grab these when you can. Worth a lot of money. That's like 45 big big ones there. Smack a root these. Oops. Did not mean to do that. You will get caught if you keep moving while you're there. This is actually not a bad thing, though. I mean, we're in jail right now. Welcome to jail. Here's, um... But I believe there is something in this jail cell. Maybe? Let us out! It's spooky in here! I thought there were. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Um. Oh, Tetra? No! Maybe just a little bit. Tetris talking about holes. Thanks. Okay, so yeah, basically what Tetris trying to tell you is how to escape. And the way to do that, very simply, ta-da! And there's money involved, hooray! Okay. Oops, didn't mean to hit that button. Uh, I'm using the, the Pro Controller today, viewers, so let's show some respect, please. It is astounding to me, though, how fast these controllers die. The Wii U gamepad and this Pro Controller, very quick to almost immediately die. Had them plugged in, ready to roll and record, and life had other ideas, so. Now, not this jail cell in particular, but there is one somewhere in the Forsaken Fortress, I don't quite remember where, that actually does have something special for us, but we'll come back to that later. First treasure. Treasure, 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 treasure. What is it, viewers? Oh. Well, I'm not using the Wii U gamepad, so apparently I am screwed. Now, I do believe actually the jail cell that I was referring to is down here. I'll never let go as he lets go. Pretty sure I can see something over there. Hop. Hip. Hop. Hip. 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 Dip. 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 Coming in here. Don't forget this. This is actually hilarious. Um, I know about this now, having done previous playthroughs. Um, but that does not mean that I got it. I was aware of it. 
But that's about as far as that goes. Okay. So grabbing another one of these barrels. As you can see, there is a moblin here. Oops. Okay, apparently we did not want to put it on ourselves. Okay, that was stupid. It's obviously not what the game had in mind. It's not what it, the intention was. It's not what you intend. Actions speak louder than words. So anyway, we'll try that again. Not entirely sure how much progress I'm going to make in this episode. I'm going to do a, a decent job, like I said, trying to keep these episodes relatively brisk. Anybody remember those commercials with the creepy claymation guys? Drinking iced tea? Ugh. No, thank you. All right. So Tetra warned us that the lower part of this dungeon is crawling in my skin with enemies. So we're going to want to steer clear of that. And in the meantime, stay here on the second level. Those searchlights are not just on the middle part of the, the fortress. They're actually here too. Tetra, I know, please. I, I'm well aware of that. So this is a hint. You're gonna have to parry the enemy's attacks and bonk them on the head with something. Let's see what is available for murder. Okay, so as you can see, we have this boy here running the searchlight. There are in fact three sets and we are gonna shut them all down. Downtown Charlie Brown, all right. Let's go ahead and get this goober's attention. Hey, hello. I'm just gonna smack you on the buns. So there you go. Just getting his attention is enough to cause him to leave his post. Excuse you. Oh. Whoop. Whoop. And, uh, whoop. Oh, no, no. <laughs> that was not the time for that. Ow, stop. All right, this is going swimmingly. As you can see, this uh, wooden stick, not a formidable item, unfortunately. But, we got our very first joy pendant in our spoils bag. Great. So we can put that in our big sack. Well done. So that's one down. We're going to need to go to the others, of course, in order to shut those down. Yep. Can actually do the second one right here. I don't know if this is the intended route that you do this, but whatever. So we've got one down there, one over here. Once again, a rinse and repeat situation, of course. Combat is not my strength in pretty much any game I do. So, pop, I'm gonna hit you right in the, I was gonna say right in the butt, but he's facing me, so that doesn't make any sense. Just go ahead and get rid of that. And that is two searchlights down. This is actually a speed run. Um, but as you can see, the third one's over there. And I don't remember, I don't remember how to get to it um, or how to really do anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and over here. Oops, sorry, Link. Just basically uh, snapped your knees. He has ankles made out of silly putty. We're gonna go in this this way. This looks uh, good, I think, maybe. Ooh. So this part's kind of spooky. Um, you have this weird, like, Beemos that's like moblin shaped. That's trying to kill you, as you can see. And one of my favorite enemies coming up, I think they're in this room, maybe. I don't remember exactly, but uh, they make me laugh, and it's something that I say to my cat. I give her human voices, because that's what normal people do. All right. I don't know which way I'm going, so I'm just going to assume that this is the right way to go. Hopefully this is good. I don't know.
my sense of direction is basically non-existent with all of this, so... I think this is the way that I started, maybe? What happens if we check the map? I don't know, is that saying that's where I died? I have no clue, viewers. Clearly, I'm doing a great job with this Let's Play. Dun, 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 dun. I just love kind of like the... It's kind of ominous. All right. Is this good? I don't know. Got that searchlight down. That searchlight's down. Okay. I think... That's the one from over there. It looks like if we continue heading this direction. Okay. Don't go this way, because every time that you do, the game has to remind you. Look, you're here! It's like a giant map at the mall. You are here. Alright, so we're going to continue going on. Ooh, I thought I missed that. Wouldn't that have been annoying? I don't know where I am because my sense of direction sucks. That is 100% accurate, by the way. If you ever wind up with me on a trip, do not ask me where to go, because I will lead you astray. Okay, that's... Oh, here we go. Looks like this is the third searchlight. Let me take this boy down. So we are making progress. When I first played this game, for whatever reason, I had... This is... You know, the first, quote, dungeon of the game. And for some reason, this gave me like a weird amount of unnecessary trouble. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. It shouldn't have. This is not difficult. Did that guy's drop kick me. Excuse me. No, just hold the shield. How do you? I'm crouched, dummy. <laughs> do I not have the shield? Equi that might be partially why I don't think I have the shield equipped. You're not equipped. And boop. we'll just take the. The brute force way. Okay. So that's three searchlights that are done. I think I need to go a little bit further along this direction. This one direction. Just to make it to that little ledge you could see. Now that the searchlights are gone. We will have no trouble making it that way. Whoa. First thing, it's gonna push this. It's pew shit. Don't fall though. It's just a way back up. In case you goof. Look at this. Pirate ship. Oh my gosh, game, please. Oh, I get it. I, I see that. I'm well aware of that. Can I talk to you without the game trying to give me a cutscene? Because he just kind of picks a wedgie. Y you know, when you put it like that. Thanks. Hopefully this will take us that direction. I have a brief idea of where I'm going, but... There we go. Okay, so... This is the area you gotta go to. These moblins are obviously in the way. I don't know. Here we go. Let's see if Link will stop being a dummy and properly use the barrel. This time I'm gonna be careful because I don't want to have to redo this. Also, I want to see if I can get close to the moblin because I love what they do. Like their hitbox is really huge for some reason. Or maybe ours is, that's what I meant to say. They'll get right up on your business. Somebody tooted. It's got a stinky bee hole. Well, when you get cooped up in a in a barrel almost at a jar, when you get cooped up in in a jar, what do you expect? All right. So that should be good. Go ahead and put that down and mosey on forward. We're making great time. Okay. So now. Thanks to turning off all the searchlights, we can safely continue our pathway. There is a moblin around the corner, though. 
This will require more barrel-aged shenanigans. It's an Imperial run-through. Don't mind me! I love their animations with their just gigantic underbites. Looking like a bulldog. And their creepy eyes. Look how creepy their eyes are. You're so creepy! Do you have any favorite sense viewers? Is it the smell of a... Is it the smell of the hero of time in a barrel? Put that in a candle. Tis gonna sneak right past you. Give you the old Midwest. <laughs> oh! The game is generous, though. If, um... The enemy has been... Sort of alerted. The game does give you a little bit of a grace period to get the heck out of there. Might be able to do this entire area today, which be not what I was expecting to do. I don't realize how long this part of the game is. I don't really know how long any of the game is. I haven't really gotten that far in it. Just gonna go ahead and come up here. And this was something that really threw me off when I was younger. It's like I cannot figure out who's Siddle. No. So sidling is this. <laughs> this animation here. I love Link's face. I'm not sneaking in. Yeah, the facial expressions that they program for Link in this game are top notch. And if you don't like that, that's too bad. And so you gotta do it again. This is the area that uh, earlier you would be unable to do this because the third search light is having a rave over here. I'm gonna get you and you just gotta avoid it the only way to do that is to turn it off a party and a party when it gets shut down so our sword hooray oh no oh boy well this looks like trouble go ahead and grab your sword we got our sword back. It's time to screw this guy up. Time to do business. All right. So first thing you got to do is you have to equip it, I think, right? Um, no, yes. I don't know. Nope. Oh, I was, I was like, what's the button for it? Yeah, I don't remember all the fancy buttons. I actually, uh, that fight went really well and it shouldn't have because I was literally just, uh, just mation. Just B, 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 B. Unfortunately, you can't take this super cool sword that that Bokoblin had. So, sorry about that. All right, hopefully, uh, arrows in here, maybe. <gasps> oh, we found her. Looks like I have an astigmatism. Is that you? that face it's, it's wonderful oh boy it's the feds run this isn't good oh no we come all this way and now it's us getting captured oh boy taking us to Guantanamo Well, so much for that. Uh oh, who's this? It's the big bad. None other than the president of the United Er uh, Ganondorf. Surprise! Ganondorf's in this game. That yeah, bird's just like, see ya, bye. You're not a little girl. Can't take you to our little private island. Oh, and that's the end of the game, actually. Uh, Link is dead. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. Oh, wait a second. We didn't sign up for this excursion. Okay. Something is talking to us. 
Is this an out of body experience? Well, it's daytime now? What is happening? Okay, now we're on the boat. Poor Link, his back must be in tatters. Oh my gosh, what's this? Hey, we almost died. Stop mocking us. Yeah, that is a correct reaction. Yeah, we're being talked to by a boat. How do you know English? Yeah, apparently. You ever been talked to by a boat, viewers? The King of Red Lions. Who? All right, are you with the government too? Are you some kind of pervert? <laughs> I love how Link is like very like calmly, patiently listening to this story. He's like, oh. Yeah, it's the director of the CIA. His name is Turt-O. Ganon. Actually, this one's Ganondorf. Ganon it is his crazy form. <gasps> dun dun. Evil magic spooky. Uh, duh. Of course we do. Well, I would do anything, but I won't do that. Thanks? In case you haven't already figured it out, this is gonna be our companion buddy for the game. Little strength we possess. He's like, you're a little boy and you suck. Get good, okay? Link's a good listener, an active listener as you all should be. To the great sea, I don't think so. Yeah, what kind of boat are you? You don't even have a sail. Loser. Okay, I guess we're here on a little shopping trip. Thanks, bud. So much for uh, saving our sister. Capitalism, way more important. I mean, you're pretty useless right now. All you're doing is talking down to us. But uh, he's not wrong. This is a brief detour. After our errands are done, what do you mean our errands? Your errands. You need our help after all, you dumb boat. Anyway. That is all the time we have for today. This lands us on Windfall Island. I do not want to talk to you right now. But we'll do a brief little to-do. All right, great. So, uh, yeah, this is where we're going to call it quits for the day. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, and I'll see you next time for more. Bye.